Hello, welcome to Xilene IEC Railo tutorial. Today I am going to design a new project, means create a new project in IEC Design Suite 14.7. So for that you have to first click on this. Click on OK. Then click on new project name the project that is basic underscore project then click on next then you have to select whatever the device you want to suppose this the starter spartan 3 starter board or you are programming for general board select the uh, this project category and then select the FPGA device that is Spartan 3 I am programming for Spartan 3 so I am selecting this Spartan 3 then this series XC500 then this series and is the package is equal to 8 then Spartan 3 4 and this package this is speed now here select whether you are going to program for VSDL or whether you are going to program in Rylog then select this Rylog and click on next then finish now the project is ready now you have to add Rylog file to this project then click on this and add new source then go to VHDL module for VHDL programming we had selected Rylog module so we have to select here Rylog module click on and give the name suppose I am going to design a basic cap so uh, click uh, give the name that is basic underscore gate to my project then click here now this defines the input and output so give port name A as an input then give port name B as an input and give port name C as an output Let us give Y as an output, then click on next. Finish. So, this program is to here is ready. Now, you have to give the uh, programming statement to design a gate and gate. I am using assign statement here. So, assign y is equal to a and b so this is the programming for and gate now save this project and synthesize this So synthesization is completed successfully. Uh, so this program is logically right. Now to check this program on a test bench, I have to just click this simulation and select this file and click here and then simulate behavioral model. This was the test event for uh, end gate. Now 
the input of A is giving forcefully that is force constant and let us say it is 0 and again B is 0 now at that time Y should be 0 so this should be Y is 0 when A is 0 B is 0 Y is 0 now when A is 1 and B is 0 at that time again Y is 0 now when B is 1 but A is 0 